Yes, Kwabna. You have probably been here many times. Right? And fa family, we are here in the Palace Museum. And there's only certain things we can give you. Yeah? And footage of. Yeah? So be with us and enjoy the show and enjoy the view. Yes, Kwabna, how's it going? Yeah. I'm so happy to be here. Today we have a big opportunity to see this wonderful thing that happened so many years ago. This is Ashanti King's Palace Museum. Thank you. They were all part of Ashanti. When the British came, that was when they started losing most of the land because some of them wanted to leave Asante at that time. So they joined forces and then started pushing Asante away. That is why today it has become smaller now. Chopped it up like gangsters. No, okay. Now, Asante King, Nanaj, my friend, the first, passed away here in 1931. And the nephew here was made the next king. The name was Se or Se Ajmai Prempe the second. Now in Asante, we practice matrilineal system. So here, as a man, your child belongs to your wife. The same thing applies to the Asante king. Now, the king is from a royal family, so it's more like a circle. Those in there, they are all blood-related. You have your mother, sister, and you can't marry them as the king. You have to marry outside. And because your wife is out, it means, as the king, your child is also outside that family. That child has no direct link to become the next Asante king. But then your brother, your uncle, your nephew, for them, their mothers can be traced in the royal family. So they are the ones who can always succeed you when you are no more. That is how the system works here. They believe that the king's wife might bring in a child for the Asante king. And then in the olden days, there wasn't any DNA testing. There was no way for them to know if the baby was truly for the Asante king. But then they believe that the baby being for the mother, the sister, the baby has been there for what? Nine months. They know that baby has royal blood. That is why we using that system to determine who was to become the next king or queen in the what? Asante kingdom. Okay. All right. So any question before we move on? Yeah, I have questions. Um, the gold, are you guys still as prominent with the gold or is it less now? Um, in the olden days, it would have been much bigger, mm -hmm. but now we are still you know, digging them, we are bringing them out, yeah. But as time goes on, gold doesn't grow like it used to in the olden days. Mm -hmm. Because if you first find the mine, what is there is what you see. But yeah. once you start taking them out, it will start losing volume. But then it was of you know, a larger quantity, so we still have a lot to mine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So any other question? All right. So if there are no questions, then we move on to the next one. Can get the light. I'm telling him to see if he can get us at least a little additional lighting. All right, so in here was the first hall, and then here it was for receiving the non VIPs, the children, students, the ordinary guests. The king will use the black chair, and they will use the other chairs we see around. Our first television. 1965 Sanyo from Japan. We also have a phone here from 1960 and it's still working. We have the regulator here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. And also a chandelier all the way from 1925. Mm -hmm. That's the old school TV. Um, be careful that fan looks like it's about to start swinging. Now, on the walls here, we have two pictures. Now, this was the original palace of the Asante King. But the English came to Kumasi, they demolished this palace, and then they built this there. It was more like they were replacing the power. 
Today we call that place the Armed Forces Museum. That was where they built that fort. It was first known as Fort St. George during the time the English built it. That place was once the center of Asante. It wasn't this place. The English built this palace to replace the one that they destroyed in 1874 during the Second West War. Okay. We have this year as gold ore. That is how gold is found in our land. They process this to get the gold from it. So you get closer and then you have a look at it for me. Okay. All right. Now, down here is the first radio, 1940. You also have a Dinkra chairs game. It's like the original chairs, they follow the same rules, but they use different symbols. Okay, all right. On the wall here is a special mirror from the first president of Ghana, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. It was given to the Asante King Mama Ajmai Prempe II when the country Ghana gained independence in 1957. To the left, we have the Royal Mausoleum of the Cemetery. This was where they used to bury the kings and the queens in the olden days. But then today, here is already a field up. They've moved to a new location called Bremen. Okay. All right. So, any questions before we use a move on? My question do you still yeah. have sunny things that are alive now that are rainy? Yes. Oh. Yeah, they still do. So this portion is off limits, so what we're going to do is end this segment and once we get to an on limit uh, or section that is open for recording, we'll continue. So family, this is inside the Ashanti. Palace Museum, or the Asante Palace Museum, uh, which is the Akan, right, so spelling and pronunciation, Manchia Palace is the uh, title.